Hey, Reptor family. Thank you for joining the Reptor Sisters. Today, we actually have a surprise reptile that we just got in the mail today and also meal time for the dragons and the snakes. Thank you, Reptor so family. So, we got another oh new surprise reptile that we didn't tell you guys about. My sister's going to go ahead and open it. Okay. It's something that we do not have in our collection yet. It's pretty hot around here, so they go ahead. They put it in an ice pack to keep it cool. It's in a bag. Ooh, how big is it? Oh my gosh. Is it tied? Yeah. Do you want me Let's to... Let's open on the floor, because okay. it's a really small table. And give him some space to, like, move. Yeah, Close the door so the dogs don't get in. Freaking little. Oh, he looks upset. You ready, Sam? Yep. If he runs, we gotta chase him! <laughs> Is he... Oh. oh, crap. Is it supposed to be a baby or no. an adult? I got an adult. Okay. And, well, it's probably freaking out. Hold the bag, Sam. Because it can't see. There we go. Can you guys see? Can you guess what it is? <laughs> it's a blue tongue skink! <laughs> Look at how fast it moves. Sam's like very excited about it. Hi, buddy! Yes, we got a new blue tongue skink to add. Hey, just look at its it tongue out, Sam. Mm. That's our surprise reptile for you guys today. We're going to go ahead and get him slash her set up. We don't know what it is. We'll let you know. I didn't request a sex. We didn't um, have an option to pick what sex it is, so we'll like, have it sexed and let you know what it is. Thanks, Repta family. Derek's outside again. We put him in outside for a couple hours every day, hoping that he will get used to it, calm down. Now, the last time I got him out, he did a lot better, so I'm hoping it goes the same. Hi, buddy. Drake, Drake. Yeah, it's mama. Whoa. See? If it's, it's crazy. Wild, we're gonna be through. It's mama. No, the last time he wasn't so bad. So hopefully, Sam, watch out, watch out. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna let him go. I'm just gonna let him go. There we go. Hello, Mama. So she just laid her egg. Twenty-four of them. So her skin is some little. Look at her, she's like, yeah. Yeah, you know. Should I give her one more, Sam? No. Huh? Well, how many we got left? Three. My best eater wants a pinky mouse for his growing body. Ooh. You took that pretty fast there, bud. See if Lazy Bulma will take a pinky mouse. A lot of dragon owners don't know that it's actually pretty healthy to occasionally feed your bearded dragons pinky mice. Also, if you are breeding like we do, it's kind of like essential to provide them with the calcium and minerals and fat and proteins that pinky mice supply them when they lay their eggs so of course pebbles just laid eggs and that's why we are just giving pinkies to her and obviously are growing babies as well And she's done. That's her third one. Look at her. 
She smells it. Ooh. That baby is a good eater. Look at her. Yeah. Look at her. Oh. Good one. Get the baby. I wasn't expecting her to get it Making so it go soon. out of focus. <laughs> I didn't expect her to grab it so soon. You know? She's since there. This right? is Athena's second meal with us. And it's really nice to see that she is such an aggressive and great eater. We've not had one issue when it comes to her taking a meal. And it's always nice to see that with a new snake, especially. Ball pythons can sometimes tend to be picky or hard eaters. This is why our children are not too afraid of reptiles, though, because they are growing up around them. You know? She has no fear of the snake. Yesterday when it was in the bath, she was trying to pet it. Dang, this light keeps freaking stopping. You can see the more she squeezes, the redder the nose. She slowly releases to make sure it's not moving. Last time it took her 45 minutes from start to end. So I might want to just let us have the video of her striking her, you know? Here you'll see Athena actually like pick the snake up and do like this weird dance thing. And that's really just her trying to adjust the mouse perfectly to where she needs it to be to get the rat down properly. So it's actually kind of neat to watch how much like effort she puts into getting the rat down.
Yeah, I just finished. I just restarted. I've got the exact same spot and angle. I know, but we don't stand. Move. Come here, Stanley. Your mouth is dead. Move. Move. Look at this, Sam. She's twisting. She's doing all types of shit to get this rat down. What size did you get? Small. Move, Sam. Stop bumping me, baby. I'm recording. Stan, get out of here, baby. This is a great video. This is a great part. She's finally getting it. She's finally getting it. She's past the legs. Get it, Stan. Rick, Sam. This is a good video. It's like... Wait till you see like how good like she twists and turns. and You know what I'm saying? instead of her just in one position. Look at her. She's doing this, like dancing, going up and down and...
Thank you for joining the Raptor Sisters. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and we will see you tomorrow.